Popular government without popular information or the means of acquiring it is but a prologue to a farce or a tragedy or perhaps both. And then one of my favorite quotes, it's from the great American humorist Ken Hibbard who once said, if there's anything a public servant hates to do, it's something for the public. <laughs> there are two facts that need to be reconciled by all of us in this business. The necessity of open government versus the periodic reluctance of officials to share. That's why the open government laws are in place. At their core, these laws simply say that the public has the right to know the facts about how they're governed and how their hard-earned tax dollars are going to be spent. In essence, it's a way to protect the freedoms that our founding fathers fought so hard to secure. They had seen firsthand what happens when a ruler has too much power over the people. So they formed a republic where the people had authority over those who represented them. Holding our government accountable is a massive part of that job. Now, to double back a bit, sometimes our leaders are reluctant to publicly share information for entirely valid reasons. Sometimes you have to withhold information to have an executive session, to protect a compelling public interest, or the privacy of an employee, or a member of the public. Balancing the public's need to know with the government's ability to function properly is where op open government gets a little bit complicated. It's why Justin and his team have tens of thousands of requests to sort through every year. It's complex, sometimes a little arcane, and it's getting more challenging every day. Of course, George Washington certainly never had to deal with figuring out how social media might affect open records. I'm sure he had a few other problems to deal with. But the role of technology is changing every day, and it's changing everything. And change is happening faster all the time. Technology has changed the way we approach our lives. The public has more access to more information about the way their government conducts business than ever before. That's part of what the legislature has to address every biennium when they consider updating or changing transparency laws. Through it all, we must strive to remain true to the overriding principle that the public has a right to know and a right to remain informed. This conference highlights the most recent revisions to open government laws which are already among the most transparent in the nation. And why is that so important? Transparency promotes accountability. It keeps governments aware of the importance of protecting taxpayer money and their responsibility to stand behind and explain this, the decisions that they make. It would be a mistake to su suggest that the roles are always adversarial. There have been times when examination of records by the public has resulted in the discovery of an oversight or an idea on how to do something a little bit better. In that way, open government elevates the public to their proper role as partners in this leadership. Technology has accelerated and enhanced that relationship. It's both promising and challenging for the future. I urge all of you to take this opportunity to learn as much as you can about the state of open government law. Make connections and keep the dialogue going even after this conference is over. It's through these sort of discussions, debates, trial and error that we come up with the best ways to keep our government both accountable and efficient. We know that the future is only to get more complex, but we must always keep an eye on the bedrock principles of openness and freedom that have made this state and, and this country the greatest place to live, work, and raise a family. I really appreciate you all having me here today. May God bless you. Hope you all have a wonderful holiday and a Merry Christmas. Thank you all very much.